Hi guys, welcome back. So I thought I would just do a quick haul style video showing you the bits that I've picked up for the allotment from the garden centre. So first up, I've got five different varieties of ever-bearing strawberries. Uh, I've got uh, an Ariba Deep Rose, a uh, Camara, a Montana, another Montana but a different one, and an Elan. I then got a big hairy pot um, chamomile plant which is actually going to go home with me and it's going to go in the front garden in the filing cabinets which I'm going to turn into a herb garden for um, herbs and herbal teas so um, that will go in there. I've got a lot of seeds to try growing it on from seed again but it, the ones I grew last year got eaten by aphids um, I didn't have much luck growing them from seed so I'm going to give it another go but I thought I'd buy one as well because I really want to have chamomile tea um, as one of the things that I, I grow as a staple this year. I also got two different varieties of onions, one red which is these Carmen um, onions. So uh, this was um, basically just in the bulk uh, bulbs section. So they had bulk bulbs and you could fill up bags or they had pre-filled bags. So I just grabbed a few of their pre-filled bags. So these are the Carmen Big Red Onions and the Hercules F1, which are the um, white onions. And then I also got two varieties of garlic. I got garlic flavour, but spelt flavor. Um, which is a soft neck variety from Italy and I also got garlic arno which is um, apparently very strong and pungent um, and has a high clove count. I also picked up um, three sets of asparagus crowns so I got these uh, Pacific purple uh, asparagus crowns these um, black limb asparagus crowns and Dries, um conover's colossal asparagus crowns uh, so there's seven crowns in total there I've got crowns that I grew from seed at home um, but I'm not going to uproot those um, they haven't done particularly well over the first two years from seed they take a very long time to get established as I understand so I'm not expecting um, anything anytime soon. They've been in the ground two years now so this will be their third year um, but they've just been wispy um, fronds, there's been nothing like a spear um, and the fronds have only been maybe two or three inches high so um, I don't think they're anywhere near <laughs> going anywhere so I thought I'd get some crowns and have a go at it that way. Uh, I've got rhubarb at home as well that is doing well from a full plant but I decided to pick up um, a rhubarb crown so this is a, a red champagne rhubarb crown um, that I will put in the ground here and you can see this one's actually already uh, growing on so I've got high hopes for that. Uh, I dehydrated a whole load of the rhubarb that I grew last year for rhubarb tea, sweet rhubarb tea is one of my favourite um, teas so uh, I'm going to keep growing that on but we also you know would make rhubarb crumble, rhubarb jam all, all sorts of things like that so uh, that's the plan so those are the bits that I picked up um, and I'm going to get those uh, growing on in the allotment in the next week thanks for watching guys bye